Hello, my name is Devani and thanks so much for tuning into Short Not Sweet. And this week, let's talk designer belts. I'm going to be reviewing two designer belts that I own by Loewe and Celine. I'm also going to be talking about designer belts that I'm interested in purchasing and also talking about what I look for, what I think are good to look for when you're in the market for a designer belt. Let's get right into it with my favorite belt and that is the Loewe anagram belt i'm gonna go ahead and open it it does come in this little dust bag it did not come in a box but this was a few years ago i think back in the fall around christmas time in 2021 that i bought this and it didn't come in a box um it did have like this little wrapping around the little logo um the buckle um and this is the belt it is black on one side and tan on the other and it has the beautiful uh loewe there you go has the beautiful Loewe anagram logo. I absolutely love this belt. Um, now this is the, I think this is three centimeters or three and a half centimeters. It retails for 550. It was 550 when I bought it and it is still 550. And that's one of the reasons that I love this belt. It, it's kind of, a, it's a little bit under the radar. I think more and more people are starting to look at Loewe. Um, so it might be a little bit less under the radar these days. But when I bought it, it was more under the radar. I love the Loewe anagram, I, the logo. I think it's beautiful. I put that thing on anything and I'll be interested in it. I really will. Um, the leather is beautiful, but it's really hardy. It's not like, you know, you don't have to worry about it getting bent out of shape too easily. This belt is reversible. I got this in my normal size, which is an 85. I think that's 85 centimeters. I think in like US sizes, that's 34 inches. I think that's what it is. I don't know, math girl, 85. That's what it is on the Loewe site. Um, and like I said, it is reversible. I got it with the silver hardware. I guess this is palladium or whatever. And this, I've had it since, like I said, for a little over a year now. Yeah, about a year and a half, I guess. Um, a little bit over that. And if you can look at the logo, it's still in pretty good shape. There are some scratches on it. Come on now, if you don't focus, child, I'll just describe it for you. There are some little bit of scratches on it. The palladium is fading in some areas, but it is in pretty good condition. And for a while, this was my only belt. So I was wearing this all the time. I usually go for silver, so that's why I went with this. Um, but if you're more into gold, they have it in gold. They also have it. Like I said, it's reversible. You can get it in so many different colors. I was interested in getting it with um, black on one side and blue on the other. I wish they had like white on one side and blue on the other. They don't currently have that, but they have like orange and red and you can get it with the gold, da 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 da. And I wanna get something with gold hardware so I can switch, you know, with more interesting colors and then put the gold on that one and then put the gold on the black and tan one. I think it's such good value for your money. And like, of course it's expensive, it's not as expensive as a lot of other designer belts and you just get so much for your money because it's reversible and there's so many different colorway options. So I would definitely recommend this. Um, and it has like the, it's like a plug-in hole style. So you go ahead and you, you put the logo in on, it's on this side and then you plug it in or you can reverse it. You put it on the other side if you want to have it on the brown side. Um, and then it comes with, how many holes does it have here? one two three four five it, so it came with five holes and then i got additional holes put in it um for when i want to wear it higher on my waist and it's just it's a great belt i can't recommend it enough if you if you're if you're on market for your first designer belt i think this is the ideal one i'm sorry i just i know there's so many other ones you can get but this is the one that i would get us this is the one now next we're going to move on to celine the celine triumph belt and it does come in a box i'll show you that as well but i just took my bag as you can see i'm not in my normal background so i'm not at home right now so i don't have the box but it has a little dust bag that says celine paris on it and you open it up here and um i didn't have the paper the little like i, I think it's usually supposed to have plastic over it or something like that but they didn't give it to me i need to be angry about that but whatever it's too late now anyway so you have the belt it's in this beautiful like I don't, is this box leather i don't know what the words are for these kind of leathers but it's in this really shiny very thick hardy leather again you don't really have to worry about it like bending out of shape it's a little more stiff than the loewe belt so i do um worry about like creasing on this belt because when you fold up the belt because of how it's made you see how it's already bent like that so i because it's such a like a thicker leather i do worry about more creasing um but for now i bought it about maybe a month ago and it's still in of course fabulous shape there's no issues with the logo and i just love this celine triumph logo it has the celine paris um on the top and on the bottom um 
and I just love this boat. It's it's this one is 2.5 centimeters. This is the widest one that they have, and it's for some reason it's called the medium Triumph belt. I don't know where they get these. I, I don't understand. It's also the plug-in hole style. You can see it has a little um hopefully maybe you'll see there you go. You can see it has a little plug-in hole, and it also has the standard five holes. And I got this in my normal size, which is again an 85. Um, I would also always recommend trying it on. I will say this one, I feel like it's a little bit, um, it's probably all in the way that the belt is set up. I feel like I have a little extra room in this belt. So maybe if you wanted to size down, but I would just get your normal size. You could always get more holes put in the belt and that's not a problem. And the cool thing about this belt is it does have additional belt loops. You know, that's um, what I'm finding is, and I'm talking about that later a little bit more. That's not always common. And so it has a little bit, uh, has these two extra belt loops so that if you do need to cinch the belts a little bit more, the belt, it's not really dangling as much as it would be in some other belts. Um, the Loewe belt also, because the way it is, let me show you that because that's actually really important. The way it's set up is you put the strap behind the belt. So it's also not flapping if you have to use like a hole all the way back here. The, the rest of the, the loop is not just, the rest of the belt is not just flapping around. And I found that's not actually very common. Um, so what else did I wanna say about this belt? Oh, this really doesn't come in that many colors. You can get it in the black, you can get it in a tan, um, you can get it with silver hardware, I believe still. They also have it with like leather hardware. They also have it with like the Celine Triumph like canvas on the belt. So you do have some, you know, options with it. Not as many as Loewe though. Um, and it is overpriced. This was $5.90, I think, last year, and it went up a few months ago. And my stupid self, I should have bought it back then, but I was putting it off, and then it went up in price again. So if you're thinking about this belt, you can find it on Bestiaire Collective somewhere, sometimes secondhand. I've also seen it on the real real, but those sell out so quickly. So if you're gonna buy it new, hurry up before the price goes up, okay? Because you know Celine is very hot right now. The girls are loving the Triumph logo. Get it out of the way. Just drop, just get, let them swipe the card, okay? Get it done. Okay, I'm so sorry. Also consider the Celine belt is not reversible. So it's $670, but it's not reversible. That is definitely something that will, you know, determine whether or not you wanna go forward with that belt. So what am I looking for in terms of future belts? As you can see, I need a brown belt with gold hardware now. That is something that's missing from my wardrobe. I know there's some people that don't wear belts, but I find them to be like such an integral part of my wardrobe. And so I really do wanna add a brown, a brown belt with gold hardware to my collection. A few that I've considered is YSL. YSL makes, you know, really cute belts with like a little understated like YSL logo as like a little um, loop on the belt. Um, but the, there's there's one that retails for 375 and that one is entirely too thin. And there's one that retails for I think six 625. And that one, I mean, that one looks pretty cool, but I'm just not sure if it's worth it um, because one, that one does not have additional loops. I think the little YSL logo is one loop, but there's no additional loops. And I I was watching a TikTok about that um, belt and I'll try to link it below if I can find it again. And she was saying that um, the YSL, the little like faux little YSL buckle, it sometimes can scratch to leather when she's putting it on. And also the YSL logo can also scratch her clothes uh, when she's wearing that belt. So that's something that I've been thinking about. I'm like, ugh, is it really worth it to buy something that's gonna like be hard to wear because it doesn't have additional loops and the belt loop is the belt itself is gonna be flapping when I put it on if I don't if I'm not wearing it with jeans anyway. And then also, you know, it's gonna be scratching my clothes and scratching itself like that. I'm just buying a problem at that point, you know. So another belt I've considered is the um, Hermes Kelly belt. Um, that belt is also really thin, but it is just so beautiful, like with a beautiful turn lock and it comes in the tan, it comes in lots of colors, but the ones I've been looking at is the tan um, and also the like a taupe color. Both of those are super beautiful, but that belt retails for over a thousand dollars. That is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And so I have seen them on like Fashion File and if you get it in like a fun color, like an orange or a pink, you can get it for half of that. And so I'm thinking like get the tan belt in like a more mainstream, well not mainstream, YSL is not mainstream, but you know, get it in like a non Hermes, you know, brand and then get a fun color for the Hermes because I just love that belt so much. It's just so like, it's dainty, but it can, you can get it in a fun color. Like I love the turn lock and it's one size fits all so you can wear it different places on your hips. 
I think th that's really a great option. You know, expensive, yes, but you know, a good option to your, you know, to your wardrobe. So things that I look for when I'm purchasing belts, I think that I've like highlighted a couple things. Consider if it's reversible, because if it's reversible, you're gonna get more bang for your buck. That's just, you know, it's just obvious, you know? Um, consider the hardware color. Are you more of a silver person? Are you more of a gold person? Um, also consider the material of the belt, the material of the leather. Like, is it gonna get scratched easily? Is it gonna get bent out of shape? Or is it really hard and thick? Is it gonna like maybe crack more easily or bend more easily? These are all things, things that you wanna consider. Um, you also want to consider the width of the belt because like I was saying that YSL belt is so thin like two centimeters for me is too thin for a belt I've realized I need at least two and a half centimeters, you know to show up in what I'm wearing I think okay, okay, I'm lying because the Hermes belt might be a little bit thinner than that But you just have to you know, I haven't tried that belt on in person and if I try it on in person I might change my mind about even if I want to spend that money on it, you know and these are all things that you need to consider when you're purchasing these belts because they're expensive, right? So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, and hopefully this was helpful. If it was, maybe you consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Uh, I also wanted to say that the channel recently reached 200 subscribers. So thank you so, so much for following along and hanging out with me. You know, I have fun making these. So hopefully you're having fun watching them. Um, feel free to check me out at my website, shortnotsweet.com. You can also check me out on Instagram and TikTok at shortnotsweetdevany. Thank you so, so much for watching and please, please take care of yourself. Bye.